Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be on setting up Sonar on FreeNAS Corral. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to console, type shell, then we're going to cd to the storage where we want to store our settings for, uh, for Sonar. And we're going to want to make directory sonar, oh, make directory dash p, sonar slash config. So the next thing we're going to want to do is to come down to Docker, click on containers, click the plus sign, click the FreeNAS collection, and we're going to scroll down until we find sonar. Click on sonar, we're going to name our container, choose our Docker host, make sure exposed ports is checked, and right here next to config, we're going to, we're going to browse to the folder we just created. And hit select. On TV, we're going to choose the folder where our TV shows are located. And on downloads, we're going to select the folder where something, for example, transmission, would download your completed files to. Uh, for PUID, we're going to put 1000. And for PGID, we're going to put 1000 as well. So a quick note about the PUID and the PGID and what they do. So when you set this value, you would be setting what user sonar in the container runs as, um, corresponding with what user on the host, right? And so if we set 1000, 1000 would correspond to the first user we create, you create it on your FreeNAS, right? Um, if the permissions for that didn't work out for you uh, or something, then you would try uh, zero on both of these. Uh, zero for the PUID would uh, correspond to root, and zero for the PGID would correspond to wheel as the group. And you can find out, um, for example, if you have multiple users, if you went to console and type shell, and you did PW group show and the number, um, it would show you what group uh, has that ID. And if you did PW uh, user show and then the number starting at 1000 for users you create uh, that would show you what user that number corresponds to. We're going to change to bridge mode on this. Generate a MAC address and set the IP to some to an IP that's not already taken in your network and that is not within your DHCP range. Then we're going to hit save. Okay, so once our container is created, we're going to come down here and click on Sonar and hit Web UI. That should bring up our Web UI. So if we wanted to set up a download client, for example, transmission, We have to set the IP address of where our transmission client is running. And if you followed my previous tutorial, I set it up with NAT. And the problem with that is uh, transmission does not know of a route back to Sonar if we have it set up that way. So what we're going to, have to do is go back to our transmission and scroll down to our network settings on transmission and change its networking to bridge mode as well. Generate a MAC address and give that a, an IP within our network as well. And as long as you uh, saved uh, your config on the host here uh, via a mount like that, your uh, 
your transmission settings will be saved when we do this. So go ahead and hit save. And then whenever transmission is back up and running, if we go and change our IP back to our new IP and hit test, we should see transmission succeeded, or testing transmission succeeded. Okay, you're also going to want to test adding a series to make sure that your permissions are correct on your uh, TV folder mount. So, go ahead and browse to that path in your TV folder. And now that is working. So, there should be plenty of other uh, regular tutorials out there about adding uh, indexers or, or anything else you need to do for the setup for Sonar. Um, if you add any other uh, downloaders for torrents or, uh, or, or Usenet or anything, just make sure you set them up in, if you set them up in FreeNAS, to set them up in bridged mode and give them an IP address. Um, otherwise, they won't be able to communicate with, you, with each other correctly. Um, that completes this tutorial. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks.